Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Saturday and we are headed out. Sam and I, who is not here yet, we're taking the truck. I told him we should take it for a car wash because we have plans. You guys know, we got a truck, we have plans. We have a truck, we have a trailer. We are gonna be going places. So today, I wanna get it all clean because he took it on the mud so he could off trail ride it to see if it was good. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going into town to do our Saturday shopping and then, then we will reunite with the girls. You no, know, I've been working on like all of our groundwork stuff and it's my favorite stuff to do. And I just wish I knew more of it. Also, I wanted to tell you guys that uh, today I'm going to edit the trail ride Gabby's perspective and show you guys the cross country course. We did a cross country course. I went, Julia went, Sophie went, Gabby went, Kate went, Shay went. We all did this cross country course. I didn't want to do it, but we did it. And she said like at your horse, you can just, you can just guide to the side and she will follow the side. If you don't want to jump, then don't lead her towards the jump. And I did just that. It was amazing. So I'm going to post that tonight. You guys will have already seen that, but I just wanted to say that I am still aching like crazy. I am in agony from that ride. I haven't ridden the Pasif I haven't ridden the Pasifinos for for a year and getting back into the swing of it. It was like an hour and a half ride and my muscles everywhere are hurting my neck, my back, my arms, everything. But it was so amazing to do that ride. So the reason I'm telling you guys this is because Gabby wore the GoPro to get the footage and she only will wear a GoPro on her chest, not up high, which is hard. And when she was riding, the camera got knocked down just a little tiny bit, so the perspective isn't great. You kind of don't really see everything that's happening, but you're still gonna get Gabby's perspective and see kind of like, and see kind of what our ride was like, how like forward it was and how fast it was, and she cut everything. So um, hopefully you guys didn't mind the fact that the perspective wasn't great. So I need another one of these. I bought one recently and it the way it hooks up makes it undo really easily. Like every time you sit down, these things at the back come undone and then it's like sliding. So which one do we need? Which is the best? Oh my gosh, for under $100 you could get like a bidet. Or for under $100 you could get one with a light. I haven't really given you guys a good tour of Sam's new truck. It's got some stuff in already in it that he put in. So we got the rails put in this truck and then the, the part with the ball there is ours from the old truck. To be honest, I haven't even looked back here yet. You guys know he had this really cool cover that he loved and it doesn't, so he kept it and it doesn't fit this truck, but he's got this other one that's so super cool because it folds up like this. I like that a lot. I'm excited to see it put down. But I like it because the other one was either on or it was off. And you couldn't really use the back of the truck very often. I don't like these running boards as much. They are really narrow. They don't come out very far. Like they're in line with the truck almost or even more pushed in. And they're so narrow. His old ones were so wide. You just could like step off and get in. And it, it was like so much easier. These ones are so tricky. What'd you get? I got, oh, I got this. I was thinking... We take too many horses. This is a saw horse, right? Put your saddle on it, but I gotta cut the legs, put it on the top. You throw your saddle on it, and I got some wheels so we can roll it in there. Somehow I'm gonna hook up the wheels. So I have no idea what you're talking okay, about, but I love it. Put your saddle on there, it's just too tall, so I'm gonna cut the legs off. Put it in the top part of the trailer so you can put the saddle on it, wheel it in, and wheel it back. Oh, I love that! Oh, yeah. That's so That's creative. Plan. So the other thing that we came here to get was a screw for my saddle because the little nut, I guess it's called. I don't know. I'm, I'm not into that kind of stuff. I'm an expert at some things. Horses and saddles? No. Is it called a nut that you got me? 
Yeah. Let's see it. Anyway, for one of my stirrups, the nut fell off and it still works, but like I always have to be super careful. It's a locking nut, so it won't come off once you lock it in. Yeah, but I want new stirrups, so. So. So you probably need those anyways. They don't come. Oh, they don't come with them? No, you just get stirrup. I don't think oh, you get them. All right. So also, you guys know I've been looking for a treeless sensation saddle. I think like that is what I really want. I've decided that's what I want. And then I rode in it after a year of not riding in one, and after a year of riding in my saddle, and I realized that I don't maybe want one because my saddle makes my body feel like it's in such a more secure position and. And I just don't know if Penny loves my saddle. So I'm still gonna continue in the saddle adventure about learning and trying to decide what suits us both. We are actually so super lucky to have this, like the next five days is supposed to be super warm. And we're taking advantage of it. Like I said, we wanna be busy with our horses and doing stuff while the weather is still nice. So we are planning it today, taking today, to put away all of our furniture. Ooh. Honestly, look at how cute she is. Isn't she the cutest little baby? You're the cutest little baby. <laughs> She's so friendly, you guys. She comes right up. I definitely find that I have to have more than one feeder. I have three feeders right now, even though there are not like a ton of chickens in our coop. But just like in life, the more dominant chickens try and bully the less dominant ones and prevent them from eating. So I try and have as many feeders as I need to so that everybody can eat and be healthy and be happy. <laughs> I'm also gonna take this week to clean all of our buckets out really really good usually I do it twice a week but I'm gonna do it again today and all the ones that like the winter bucket water bucket that I'm gonna bring in and get everything ready for winter it is winter cleanup on the day-by-day -day farm I also have two different kinds of pellets in the coop I have this kind which is a crumble and I have it because of the little tawny chickens really do much better with a crumble she's my prize chicken I raised her from an egg yeah, you're such a cute girl. And then over here in this hanging bucket, I have the pellets, which I like to keep out here as well. So we have our rooster baby, Sophie's favorite ever rooster. Well, yeah, look at his coloring. And it goes yeah. to gold. That's gold. I know. It's so gorgeous. I don't even know if you guys can see it. Like, he's such a nice color. Such a cute boy. Look at how nice his legs are. I have like a thing for chicken feet. I mean not to eat. You can tell the health of a chicken by their feet and by their legs. And he's perfectly fine with being out. Yeah. <laughs> he's a suck. Roosters always are though. Like roosters are always the nicest Look chickens. How beautiful his eyes are. Beautiful I know. peach color. Open your eye, little rooster. Open your eye. He's like, rub me, rub me. He's falling asleep. Yeah. He, oh, there he goes. Oh, I saw blue. Oh, there they are. Yeah, matches his, his coat, that rust color. Oh, and then he's gray. I want to build something. You got to wash your hands before you touch honey, though, because chickens can carry diseases to horses. Can I build something? What do you want to build? We are working, sister. Working. Where's your sister? Where's your sister, sister? So this is his butt. His gorgeous tail feathers, and he's like gray with gold. Hey, look, he has white. And white, well, that's just a light gray. But that's he's like so pretty. I love roosters so much. Okay. We want to put get all of the cushions for like all of our wicker furniture. Where can we put that? Or all of our summer outdoor stuff. Where? What can I put it on to drag it all down to the barn? Can I use this? What are you doing? Bringing these tools up to the house. Oh. All right, take it up to the house and then I'll we'll load all of our stuff into it. We'll bring it all back down. Everyone is working on the farm today except for Gabby who's having a rest inside. She should be coming like the down teenager here. she is. Yeah, she's coming um, down for sure. You know all that wood beside the house? Yeah. I want to take that and build a shelter. You want to build a shelter for for honey? Yeah. She won't be in that for very long. When are well, we? Like when it's raining, she can go in there. Well, people want to know when are we introducing her to the herd? Oh my gosh! All his feathers stood up like that, and it was so funny. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. Turn her to walk You're up this okay. hill with a chicken in your arms. Um. So when are we introducing honey to the herd? A week from. Yeah, so you've had her a week already. Yeah. 
A week. We've had it for a week. I, I took her for a little walk into under the trail there. <laughs> she's spooked at it. But yeah, when she's older, I'm gonna get her to climb in it. Look. So it's true, we are gonna introduce her within the next week or so, like definitely by next weekend. I think we should do it now. And we're gonna do it slow, like we did with Chino. When we brought Chino back, we took, we took our time and did it slow and except for a few accidental almost matings, they, we did so good, like they did there. so she good. Nobody got hurt. Them. The plan is to take all of these things down to the barn. This, my friends, is why I love having the truck. This is my brooder box for next year. For next year. So uh, you guys know that Sophie and I sold a lot of baby chicks right, this year. Let's go, Laura. And even some grown chickens. Wow, it is big. So in the spring, this is what we plan to use for our brooder box. It's gonna need like some work. Sam's gonna work on it over in the spring probably. But we have it here now and I'm excited. I love a good truck. I love a good truck. Sam still has to close up the trailer for the season. 